Carl, what did you like out of the, uh, especially that first half when you guys were up 20, what did you like most about the way you guys played up-tempo offensively and didn't stop defensively? Mm, uh, pretty much what you said, uh, you know, us coming out um, early playing defense, um, sharing a ball, and, um, you know, that's all you can ask for. Uh, <clears throat> we was talking, uh, communicating on defense, uh, you know, driving and, and, and passing and uh, getting out in transition, and we were able to knock down shots. Quite well, Ty was saying that he's oh, over to you, right, uh, that he's asked you and Paul to set the tone defensively this year from the jump. Um, I guess, is that any different than last year? I mean, because you, you guys have the ability to be all defensive players. Is what he's asking you to do this year really any different, or is there more to it? Um, no. Um, I think, um, you know, uh, we just we just have to step out on the floor and, uh, like he said, just show an example that we're engaged and, um, you know, locked in from the beginning. And that's with um, either guarding the best player or if you're on the weak side, communicating and uh, – Pretty much just letting guys know uh, the spots to be in when we're out on the bench watching the game. And um, yeah, so we could just translate over to everybody else and they could carry up, carry over. I think you only had 10 games last year, whereas you, uh, PG, and, and Ross playing together. This version tonight with the starters looked pretty good. What did you feel like tonight was something you think could be a hallmark of, of your minutes together, that trio? Uh, I mean, tonight we were in a good rhythm. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, it's going to be um, based on um, how we're performing um, each and every night. And, um, you know, it's going to be on T. Lou to see what, it, uh, you know, teammates are um, out there, you like, um, with the good chemistry. Um, that's pretty much how he coaches. But um, if we could have us three out there um, or one of us out there at, 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 at any time, I think it will help us. Um, you know, with winning basketball games. Clyde, this is the first, you know, opening night, maybe three seasons or so, you're able to come out fully healthy, play the full minutes you wanted to. How good does that feel for you, you know, that you're back on the court and being able to play the game you love? Uh, it feels good. Um, I'm happy that, uh, you know, I had a good uh, off season, able to get back healthy. Like I said, I felt good um, in training camp going into the season. And, uh, you know, it came out the game feeling good as well, so. Just going to keep it going from here. And Kawhi, speaking about rhythm, it seemed like from the tip, they made sure to not let you get a rhythm, and they ran multiple guys at you. Uh, did you like what you seen from your other four teammates on the floor and the way they spaced it to get good looks? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, I, I got to do a better job of passing the ball. Still I had four turnovers. Um, we can't have that 17 as a team, and I got to be the, be a better leader of uh, making sure I get the passes uh, to my teammates. Uh but we still got a lot to, you know, learn, and uh, we still got to get better. So uh, we're not satisfied, and um, yeah, hopefully uh, we could, you know, just keep building and getting better uh, each and every game. Why, uh, um, Russ said he tries to make your life and Paul's life as easy as possible. That's kind of his job. How has he off the court and on the court been a fit along with you two? Like, why has it gone so well? Uh, you know, obviously. Um, He's not selfish, um, and I mean, on the court, he's, uh, I mean, everybody knows how he plays the game. Um, he's attacking the rim, and, uh, you know, that makes our life easier. If we could just catch and shoot rather than um, dribble in basketball, uh, you know, those are the hardest shots uh, in the game. So uh, with him, uh, you know, able to get in the paint, um, not be selfish and pass us the ball uh, when we're open, um, you know, that, that's making our life easier. And then off the court, uh, like I said before, I've been knowing him for for a while. Just growing up in, um, you know, L.A., watching him play, um, being uh, recruited by UCLA, going to see him. So um, it's just um, carrying over, you know, year by year. When he starts the game off like that, where he's dunking and looking like old Russ trying to rip the rim off, what does that do for you guys? Uh, it does a lot. Um, he brings the energy. Uh, like I said, he... Um, comes in the game he's trying to get to the rim and uh yeah i mean when you see one of your teammates uh getting easy shots or getting or dunking a ball that excites everyone um on the bench and in the crowd so all that uh, momentum gets you going last question though yeah just to piggyback off of that i mean y'all had 16 dunks overall like you pg and russ not only had the first three of those but y'all assisted each other like what was about what y'all saw from portland that enabled y'all to get to the rim uh, as easily as y'all did? 
Uh, I think it's just execution. Um, you know, some of those uh, plays were uh, just reading the game. Um, you know, if they're uh, denying us, we're going back door, and you know, we repped it out uh, at practice. Um, so you know, you got to give credit to the coaches and Ty Lu and um, and ourselves just being focused in the game and able to read those plays and um, execute. So. Um, it just based on how they played the defense tonight, and we were able to, like I said, read and react. Thanks, Kawhi.